All right, welcome back. Now let's get out to the CME Group. Rick Santelli with the Santelli Exchange. Hey, Rick. Thanks, Judge. Well, you know, Fed days, I, I can remember back when I, I first started trading in the late 70s and the early 80s. Of course, you've heard all these stories before. Not only were there not statements, there weren't press conferences, there was no financial channel covering it because there were no financial channels. If you want to know what the Fed did back then, you watched your Quotron and you figured it out when the markets went subject and then came back. You had an inkling based on short rates, based on Fed funds and, and some of the issues of the day, what was going on. Now we need to be led. We need to be led. And not only that, we talk about transparency. You know what? Forget politically correct. Let's toss politically correct out the window and let's toss every from this day backward out the window. So no matter what do you think of the programs, no matter what you think about the crisis, let's start right now. So my question right now is, and I wish I was in that press conference, and John Hilsenrath will be on in about 20 minutes, and we're going to ask him some of the questions that the reporters should be asking Ben. And the one question I want to ask Ben is, Ben, what are you afraid of? I want to know what you're afraid of. CNBC, all the channels out there that cover business. We have person after person after person. Buy side, sell side, upside, downside. How's the economy? Economy's great. What about stocks? You got to buy them. What if they break? You got to buy the dips. What's wrong with the economy? I don't hear these people saying anything's wrong with the economy. So what's wrong, Ben? Why can't we get out of crisis management mode? There's always going to be something. Let me think. ISM's under 50. Oh, my God, we can't pull in QE. Or unemployment. You know, this unemployment thing really gets a spur under my saddle. I remember a point when I was talking about labor force participation rates before the election. You know, when facts really matter and people vote for their leaders. No, the unemployment rate isn't really going down because people aren't really getting jobs. What did I hear from the Fed chairman? Crickets! Crickets. Now that he ties it to the unemployment rate, boy, everybody wants to talk about that factor because if the unemployment rate goes up, that may be a good thing. If it goes down, that may not be a good thing. Why didn't we have all this information then? So why can't we take away the QE? I don't get it. What are we afraid of? Do we have a Fed that operates like a day trader where every little gyration in the market, every 10 minutes is all that matters? If you pull it away and the stock market goes down, where is it saying the constant? Constitution that some form of the government has to guarantee stocks go up or guarantee that you have a house. They don't. Where have we gone off the rails? Enough is enough. Two Fed chairmen, is that enough? It's enough. I would like one reporter to say, Mr. Chairman, what are you afraid of in the U.S. economy? Because no matter how he squeezes that water balloon, no matter how much smoke comes from that curtain, in the end, they're going to have to deal with a reality. And the longer you put it off, think being a parent, the worse the consequences are. Simon? Breathe. Breathe. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably best you're not in the news conference, all things considered, this afternoon, Rick. Yeah, you know who's it best for, Simon? Who's it best for, really? Why don't these people kick the tires? Why don't they kick the tires? They take a press release from the Federal Reserve, and they think it was written by God. I can't wait with you with John Hills and Rath from the Journal later in the program, Oh, Rick. boy, you want to watch this oh, one? Oh, well, thank you very much. Rick Santelli fired up.